the hundred on the reformer. Now the skill with the reformer is you've got to try and keep try and keep the carriage still as you pump your arms up and down. Everything's the same as, as the other one, but the challenge is keep the carriage still. And just bring it in, Tanya. Tanya's just done a couple of classes, so she's knackered the poor girl. So you start off, this is why I start off in that position there. Now again, you can play around with the springs. This isn't to, as a general rule, the lighter the spring tends to get technique, a little bit heavier, works those arm muscles a little bit more. Uh, anyway, so you're in that position, bring yourself to a chest, you know how to get into it. Go into a chest raise position, extend the legs, lower the arms down. Keep your lower back flat, now pump the arms up and down. And again, the skill is with this one is, because that's a resistance, you should be able to feel it in the arm muscles a little bit more. The arm extends as long as the tricep, the tricep to be in the obvious one, and bring it in tiny because she's knackered. And again, you keep the, I like to keep the lower back as flat as I can. If you like to work neutral, that's fine, but you're trying to keep the carriage still. Okay, the key for keeping the carriage still, it's a little, one of them is a bit of a trick, and that is don't have your shoulders against the shoulder rest. Because when you come up, when you move the arms, you move the shoulders, you're going to move the carriage. Okay, lower down then. So first one is, bring it forward, bring yourself forward so you're off the shoulder rests. Now the next one isn't so much a trick, so much as technique. Lift it. When the arms move, your shoulder blades move. So lift up, Tanya. Now try and come up so that you're off your shoulder blades just about. And now pump your arms up and down. And they should, well you think, wouldn't you, that the carriage will stay still. But there's another trick which Tanya isn't too good at. And that is brace like mad. So straighten your legs and really brace them together. It does make a difference. <coughs> Away you go, just do a few. Really brace together, squeeze them together like mad. And that tends to help. It's a bit surprising how much that can help. And bring it in and then leap off. And let's try and translate some of that to the mat if we can. And it's simple, just use a band with the legs bent. <coughs> Excuse me. Tony's chickened out and using a light resistance again. As a general rule, like with a bit of technique. Now, the, the idea is to feel the same. Try and how can we recreate the, uh, the reformer one to the mat? And it's simply, Tanya's just going to crack on with it. So the band is offering a resistance for the arm. Now, there's more impetus now for the legs to move. You're trying to keep the legs still as well. You're trying to keep the torso still. You're trying to keep the head and neck still. You don't think it's easier just to say the only thing we really want to move is the arms. Now with the resistance, it works the arm extensors, triceps in particular, some of the muscles I mentioned before, oh, I didn't do that, but yeah. And lower down. And that's the 100 on the reformer and how you can sort of replicate it up to a point uh, on the floor.